Hey Sagittarius, it's me Kit, here to do a quick reading for you guys for the week of April 19th through the 25th, 2021. I hope everybody is doing well and everything you need to know is in the description box below. All I ask is that you please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Welcome back to my subscribers. I love you guys and welcome to anyone else who stops in. Feel free to stay a while. Okay, let's get to it. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what's the overall energy, please? For Sagittarius, April 19th through the 25th, 2021. The overall energy. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, all right. You might be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, I feel like there could be a new beginning. A new beginning with someone in love. But let's see. Could be a good week for you guys. Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know? April 19th. Through the 25th, 2021. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Okay, let's go. Thank you. Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Messages for Sagittarius. One more. Thanks. Okay. All right. First card out. We have the Nine of Rods. Next card. The Knight of Rods. The Six of Swords. The Hanged Man, Underneath the Deck, The Eight of Rods. Somebody wants to talk to you. Someone has been, hmm, someone has been fighting them themselves big time big time regarding um, reaching out to you. This might be someone who you clash with now and again. And this person's been thinking about reaching out to you. Um, they don't want to clash with you. They want more than that. I feel like with this Knight of Rods, this is also the Knight of Wands. This is someone who is in your life already, who you know you see now and again. Maybe you work with this person. I don't know. Um, but it, it's more of a, an acquaintance or a person who, um, you know, you might bicker with now and again, and you just, sometimes you guys really don't see eye to eye, but let's see. And this person wants to come in and have a little chit chat with you. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Wow. Okay. We have the Four of Rods. We have the Four of Pentacles. Whoa. The Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Thank you. And the Five of Swords. Underneath the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Here's where I'm getting from this. This is what I'm getting from this. We have the four of rods. This person would like to be more than just acquaintances with you. They've been holding back. They've been holding back um, and just coming in and out of your life, so to speak, or you know, your space uh, for some time. They do 
they do want to invest in a possible relationship with you and they do want to come to you and tell you so they've been fighting with themselves like i said they've been fighting with themselves trying to figure out how this can be done how they can make this happen they're they're trying to figure it out they see you as the queen of pentacles this might be someone who's you know very attractive who you feel they may have a lot of options um but they they see you they see you as you know quite a catch we also have the wheel of fortune so you know things are turning things are turning the ace of rods is underneath that as well they know they know that you've been hurt in the past they do know that but they do see you as you know someone who um you know is really someone who who's good for them but let's pull some clarifiers Spirit, please clarify the cards on the table for Sagittarius for 419.21 through 425.21. Why is the Nine of Rods and the Four of Rods here for Sagittarius, please? You know, and you guys can always flip it and reverse the story. Ha, see? But that Wheel of Fortune temperance i just feel like this is something that you know um this is something that you've actually wished for for someone to come in and and treat you the way you should be treated you know and i just feel like with this temperance card this this is this is the divine saying listen i got your back you've waited long enough i'm gonna bring in this person let's see how this goes why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles along with the Knight of Rods? I just, you know, I'm concerned with this Knight of Rods energy. No, this guy or gal is taking charge. They want to take charge and come in and, you know, boss up. They want to boss up. We have the King of Pentacles under the deck. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here, and we have the King of Pentacles under the deck. They see you as someone they can call their, their partner. Why is the Six of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Thank you. The Five of Wands, they don't wanna fight with you. This is, that's, that's just, they don't want to fight with you. You know what this reminds me of? Hold on one sec. Do you ever watch old movies or hear stories about, and this might even happen now. I don't know. I've been out of the loop, that loop for a long time. But when someone likes you, like say you're in school and someone likes you and they're sitting behind you and they pull your hair or, you know, make jokes or whatever. I feel like it's that kind of energy with this arguing that you guys, you know, go through. It's like a love hate thing. That's what I'm feeling. Why is the five of swords and the hangman here, please, for Sagittarius? Thank you. <laughs> the King of Wands. So this person wants to let you know how they feel. They have a lot of passion for you. They see you as very attractive, very handsome, um, very beautiful. And they're not so bad themselves, I might add, because I feel like you see them the same way. Ooh, let's see. Let me get you some advice. You know what? I'm going to go with these because I can. <laughs> Spirit, what advice do you have for Sagittarius, please? 419 through 425. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? These cards are wonderful. Sagittarius, please. Oh, I'm going to take this one. 
I'm going to take this one right here. Let's see what we have. Positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, <laughs> remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Be yourself. Be yourself. This person, like I said, this is like um. A childish picking on love hate sort of thing so if this resonates with you be prepared be prepared because a new beginning is coming with this person there you go Sagittarius please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I love 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 you guys I will talk to you soon bye Sagittarius